see, we are going to make a really quick stop. We're going to check out some California sea lions off to the right hand side of the boat. In front of us on this red white navigational buoy. Now, these are California sea lions. They are not seals, but they are very closely related animals. The way that we know that these are sea lions and not seals is just based on the fact that they are up there at all. These guys have really long front flippers. They're called pectoral flippers, much longer in sea lions than they are in seals. Those long flippers allow these animals to leap out onto race surfaces like this buoy. It also gives them the ability to walk or waddle around on land. Now, in addition to that, sea lions do also have a flexible rotating hip bone that allows those hind flippers to come forward. They work as rudimentary legs on land. Now, seals do not have that ability. Those back flippers always point backwards. They cannot prop their bodies up. They have to undulate around on land like an inchworm, whereas these sea lions can walk around. They do also have external hair flaps on the sides of their heads, as well as those whiskers. They do help the animals while they're hunting. They pick up the vibrations of small fish in the water. Now the reason those sea lions are up there is to dry off their fur every few days or so. They do need to dry it off. They secrete an oil that helps keep them warm and waterproof. Now when sea lions are unable to get out of the water, they do a behavior called thermoregulating. They will stick one of those big pectoral flippers into the air. They use it like a solar panel to reheat the blood in their body. Sea lions can top out at around 850 pounds for the large males, and the females will top out around 250 pounds, so around the same weight as our captain today. Now we can tell male sea lions apart not based on just their size, but they do develop a very large dome forehead called a sagittal crest. Developing male sea lions once they hit around five years old. Now there are no big males up there today, just a bunch of females, subadults, and juveniles. But we do see a lot of big males inside of the harbor. If you guys were paying attention, there were actually a couple of big males hanging out on some of the sailboats in there. Now the boat owners don't like that, but the sea lions don't really care. Other images of humpbacks are coming apart, and that's how we know the name of this whale, which is Chi. 
predators, even though they're larger than a school bus. Um, in this particular area, we have seen killer whales go after humpback calves. And this is a really unique species in that this is one of the only other animals in the world besides humans that will actually go out of its way to protect other animals. So humpback whales have been seen interrupting hunts from killer whales, not only on their own species, but other species as well. They will protect sea lions, they will protect dolphins, they even protect baby gray whales, and it even has been seen of them protecting humans from sharks, which is really interesting. These whales will put themselves in between whatever threat and whatever thing they're trying to protect. They get in the middle of it, which is really, really cool.
<laughs> eating the fish, but sometimes they accidentally get the birds. <laughs> the birds are just trying to eat the fish. <laughs> Out here, they do everything out here. Except we go and lay their eggs on land, but everything else they live out here 24/7. And they eat fin bait, so we know that this guy is feeding on fin bait. 